Jean, but boy George. Oh, no, no. One. Not yet. All right. Not yet. We're, we're live on camera again? Yes! Oh, that's that, that's really fast. Welcome back to Little Red Couch. Um, we call this the shit show. Why is it called the shit show? Because it's so happy. We're, it's Thursday, right? So TGIF, step aside, all right? It's our show this evening, Little Red Couch. Um, we always thank the Tiffin Gallery for, for a wonderful space. Uh, thank you for that. And um, I've got Danny here with me, who is the co-founder of Enable Asia. Uh, the first five minutes, we're supposed to really just talk about ourselves, right? Before we introduce our guests, because this is the only time we talk about ourselves. So we want that to happen. Um, Danny, stop looking no, at the I, phone. I, are you looking at the questions? I, I don't think we should talk about ourselves. We should. Right. No? The, oh, the yes. We should talk about we're, himself. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, oh no, my no. God. I apologize. No, it's fine. Apologize, apologize. Because the Little Red Cow is an opportunity to meet our guests. Uh, introduce uh, uh, Aloysius Ong. Oh. Yes. Tell me what you do. I mean, no, before that, he is our. Tell, oh, tell, say, say it. Okay, Aloysius He's Ong humble. is the winner <laughs> of the Enabling <laughs> Festival Short Film Competition Stories Together. His winning entry is Guess Upon. What's it in Chinese? Uh, Yi Wang. Wow, at least he can speak Mandarin. <laughs> yeah, you woman, uh, Hua Yu Ting Zhong, so you can speak Chinese, so you can ask him Chinese. I can't speak Chinese, so I'm going to ask him. So, so Elias, would you want to introduce yourself to the audience? Okay. Hi, guys. So, uh, my name is Elias. Uh, uh, my Chinese name is Guang Rong, if you want to know. Wow, so, Guang Rong! Ah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah, as you guys said, my film Gashapon, uh, I made it with some of my poly friends years back, and I always wanted to show it to the world, like how uh, characters or you know how real life people with dementia actually felt in a way, and how caregiver is feeling. So I hope that my film can capture it in the sense of like you guys be able to understand how both parties actually feel about each other through through this story yes yes so uh why the chinese title is called yi wang is actually we tend to forget stuff when as, as we grow older uh, we tend to remember those just the significant events of our life and others will be long forgotten and just like during my childhood times uh, there was this period of time where there's no internet there's no uh, uh, haven't reached the digital Your age got no internet my, eh? childhood, my childhood wow. sure. <laughs> yes 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 we don't need to review <laughs> our age here lah, huh? <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah 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 uh, um, the how old are you? 20, 25 so I've been how can uh, no internet uh, da la, da la, ah, da la, la, da la. La. So I still it, remember the beep. Yeah, beep. yeah, then will you consider that internet like at this age? Nah. Wow, I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 sounds yeah, good. Yeah, a little okay. bit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. let I mean, with so, time, with Yi Wang, yeah. I, I think um, my question really is how did you come about doing this? I mean, whether or not uh, you have personal experiences with. Mm. Uh, Dementia. dementia or encounters with dementia. 就是说你本身有没有跟失智症患者有什么接触呢？呃，说如果有什么 interaction, 就是 yeah, how did you even conceptualize that 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 film? Well, yeah, a uh, few years back, honestly, uh, first, uh, I was living with my grandma, mm. and she started to have signs of dementia. So at that point. My family and I was like, you know, what is dementia? And, you know, maybe Lost. she's just getting old and, you know, getting the way that society thinks that dementia is. Mm. You know what I mean? But it's more than that, of course. It's more than that. Uh, so, why, why do I want to make this film is there's this incident where I was alone with my grandma. And I, I, j I just came up from my shower and all that. And, uh... My grandma suddenly didn't recognize me at all. Oh my God. Like, she just like you know, treat treated me as a stranger, okay. and right. accused me of like stealing or, or touching her stuff, lah. Okay. So, I bet I was uh, when I was 
teenager right I couldn't understand I I was lost I was frustrated in a way you know someone close to you accuse you for doing something that you didn't do right but yet at the same time yeah you feel a bit of you know sad because why why would, would someone do that right then re- later I realised that you know it was dementia la, all along and she start starting to have like all these signs and problems yeah yeah so it actually triggered it actually helps me reflect on my relationship with my grandma because uh, we used to be very very close she used to have a, a fruit store back at uh back in Bado, back in the 90s and 2000s then i would usually my childhood is filled of like uh trips to her fruit store and you know help just out. help help her and watch her uh attending the fruit store la. so okay. it was quite memorable yeah but to find out that years later during my teens that my grandma couldn't recognize me just at that point of time it was something strange and something heartbreaking that i wish to convey la. yeah so in a way the film is more than just a film it's a message to my grandma and to message to me as well how I reflect on my grandma's uh, relationship. Uh, I'm getting all the goosebumps. You can't see it? You can see it. How so, old is grandma? Yeah. Uh, she's uh, close to 80 now. Okay. Close to 80, 79. What's the condition like? Uh, wow. Uh, so just this year, she was diagnosed with, uh, I think, uh, mal, mal dementia. But she's getting weaker and weaker every year. So just recently, um, I met her during her birthday Mm. and she, this is the part where I don't even recognize like looks wise that she's my grandma because she changed a lot over these past few months. Yeah, then it's like, I hope people could understand more like even for myself as well, I'm Mm. still understanding what is dementia you know, I, uh, even though I, I did a film of dementia, that doesn't mean that I knew everything about dementia. Right. There's much more to it, which I hope to actually do. Uh, yeah. I, I, picked up, I picked up on this point when you mentioned earlier that uh, how society sees us. I mean, wh- what do you think society thinks of persons with dementia, people who are carers for persons with dementia? I mean, I picked up on that sentence. Um, mm. I just want to know your thoughts on Right, like um, I would say people treat dementia very lightly in the sense where oh she's just forgetful she's just becoming old and you know and they don't treat dementia as a thing I, uh, that's what I feel like I think people should know more about dementia and how it affects the family as well as because when you have dementia, right, it's not just the the the, the person who, who has dementia. Yep. It affects her life, her family and her friends or you know, whoever that is surrounding yep. uh, them. Yep. So, so at this point I wanted to address some of the, the audience who have been watching. Um so my just talked a little bit about um how the society sees us. I think more often in time, I mean this is my opinion as well as what Lodges is trying to say. Uh, we trivialize the condition of dementia. We sweep it aside. We wrap it. We shove it under the carpet and saying that hey, you know it's just aging. It's just normal aging. It is not. So if you're watching us for the first time, we are trying to bring about an inconvenient truth. And this inconvenient truth is really, if you think or you feel that your loved ones uh, could have signs and symptoms of dementia, get them checked out because early diagnos- early diagnostics or uh, early diagno- di- diagnosis diagnosis. Yes, sorry, pardon my language. Um, is actually helpful because you can then maintain them at a high level, high functioning uh, yeah. for as long as they can go. And, and when you picked up <coughs> the fact that um, you can't recognize uh, grams, I, I think, how do you feel? I mean, that's, that's I, lack of a better word, I would feel really quite, emo- I mean, to me, when I hear the story, I feel emotional about it. Um, I want to get, I want to, I want to draw out that feeling from you. I mean, how did, how did you feel when you celebrated her birthday um, at that point in time? If you can recall back, I want to bring you back to that state. Right. 
I felt like it's something part of me just gone uh, like you know that because what I cherish most is my relationship with my grandma and to see her change over the years or even a short period of time and how dementia actually affected her it really affected me also yeah uh, yeah even though I might not see her every day yeah. I might not see her even very often but I've always been thinking hey what's grandma is think doing what uh is grandma okay and all yeah. that stuff so time to time you know I will make that effort to actually uh ask my parents how is grandma doing whenever they go see them uh, yeah, yeah okay I, I I just want to share with you from my personal experience because my mom has dementia five mm -hmm. years ago and of course initially she she cannot she can't she don't know who am I she cannot she can't remember she she can't remember my name so she don't even know my name or no. her son her only son um i was devastated but i want to reassure you that mm. she knows who you are deep down inside your grandma knows who you are it's just that her brain the neuron cells just not connecting and and your name just couldn't come out from mm. her mouth mm. that's all so if you get past that and reconcile with yourself that it is not that she don't know who you are she just find it difficult mm. to, 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 to to get your name and, and to, to recognize you to connect you, the yeah, dots to, to connect yeah. the dots yeah. so don't be too hard on yourself because uh, I've walked down that road yeah so Thank you, Dennis, for joining us. Adrian, Sandy, <coughs> Joyce, thank you for being part of our Little Red Couch. For those who just joined us this evening, um, we are here with Aloysius Ong, um, who is actually the winner of uh, 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 the Bitsy Enable Asia short film competition, Stories Together, with his film, Geshapon. Um, yes, questions. I mean, oh, if you have questions, sure. please. We are monitoring our, our socials. I have so like very standard questions. Oh, right, right, must right, ask. Yeah, yeah. And if we have questions from, <laughs> from, from, from you folks watching us live, put it in, we will address them, or we will do the best we can to address them. Okay, so very in your face, huh? Mm. Why study film? Why not law? <laughs> or accountancy? Make more uh, money, uh, right? Yeah. Uh, Why? Actually, funny story. You cannot funny make it for law. <laughs> <laughs> actually, it, no, la, no, la. Not, no, not, no, not that kind of story. Yeah, yeah, but, Tell uh, us, yeah. I, or rather, I found my interest when I was fourteen. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, I actually wanted to be a writer, so I started writing just stories, words, whatever, you know, just to express myself, uh, right. yeah, I mean, the stories I'm gonna make, and all that. But I realized, uh, I'm a different kind of writer. I'm not like those novels and and storybook writers. So I started researching on. Uh, screenplays, movies, and all that. Then I realized that I taught myself to do screenplays and all. Yeah. So I started writing, and just so nice, I made a film in secondary school wow. that uh, won some inter class competition or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what's that film? Uh, it's uh, about animal awareness, so animal cruelty. Yeah, basically. Ah, so SPCA, yeah. if you're watching it. There you go, your next, your next ad is coming from him, you know? Yeah, so we also help our guests to market themselves. Um, <laughs> like, yeah. So, so as, a, yes. as a filmmaker, yeah. what kind of storyline affects you? Uh, I love, uh, I mean, not to be pretentious, but I love uh, stories which uh, embodies different meanings, embodies uh, different and uh, deeper meanings uh, through society. Yeah, like tells... Uh, what society really is through the filmmaker's lens la. so very human very human very emotional yeah. very human human connections not like uh, transformers uh, i do enjoy those <laughs> i do enjoy those but yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. what kind of films attract you i mean like what danny is saying yeah the kind of films that you want to make are you attracted by the same kind of films that uh, that you watch I guess so, I guess so. Like, uh, I mean, you... I always believe in 
you watch what you make. You get I me? Mean? Just like you you are who you eat. Yeah. Okay. So uh there are different kind of films, but what what hits me most is those films that uh have a deeper sense of meaning okay. and touch society in a different way. Yes. Okay, um I got do research, ah. Uh. So last wave by, yes. That is, uh, I think, a short film that you have made about PTSD. Mm. Yes. Post traumatic. What are uh, SD? Well, it's getting really hot in here. All what right, we are what asking all. Uh? Huh? PTSD. Ah, uh, post traumatic syndrome, syndrome disorder. Disorder. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? Um, you you want <laughs> to talk about it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, uh actually, last wave by is a different. It's a different beast la. It's a different beast of film uh, Whereby uh, I was inspired during my NS years My years in NS that uh, It's a live show, yeah? It's hot actually <laughs> A lot of spotlight So, uh, yeah, I was inspired by my commanders Because uh, I was o- I almost died in uh, Or rather, I NS. almost lost my life uh, during the firing rounds, because uh, I was in having ah uh, yeah I was having pneumonia. Okay. Yeah, then I couldn't breathe for a while. I blacked out. Serious. Yeah, then I was sent to hospital for two weeks. Yeah. Then fast forward, uh, two three years later, when Aloysius Pang's incident, uh, I start to reflect. Ah, uh, shit, man, like. Life is so fragile, man. And if you don't have the right uh, leader to guide you, yeah, and that's that. Uh, so I really reflected on my NS life, like how inspiring and responsible my my commander is. Uh, I wouldn't be here if not. Give him a shout out. Yeah. Thank what's you. his name? Uh, thank you, Sean. Yeah. For yeah, for doing for saving me and uh, leading me all the way through NS. Yeah. yeah. Awesome, you know. So, live shows we always like to evoke emotions. Uh, thank you, Sean, on behalf of uh, Aloysius as well. Because if not, we wouldn't get a chance to talk to him today, uh, in person. Um, next question. <laughs> next question. Okay, uh, back to the film Guess Upon. Okay. Um, I want to know, is there any challenges you face while making the film? Actually, uh, we, we actually mentioned it just now. Like, yeah. when I was pitching the project, then people was like, huh, got so serious, man, like, uh, dementia, then forget people name, yeah. forget who you are and all that. They trivialize. So, yeah, they trivialize all these things. Yes. Like, they trivialize, uh, yeah, they trivialize all these things. They, they say, is this even realistic and all. So, that's the that's the hard part when I was pitching the project. Yeah, so I get a lot of like uh, pushback uh, from clients, from people who from from investors basically, who 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 told me that it wasn't a realistic portrayal of like dementia. So I'm gonna say on your behalf, shame on you. All right. So yeah, if you don't understand it, that's not me. It's not real. Yeah. So so. I think it's also important to hear the perspectives of uh, persons with dementia as well as the caregivers' uh, side of the story. So, 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 yeah, again, shame on you. Yeah, but I'm glad whoever that invested in your film yeah. uh, got you to where you were yeah. getting because I'm, I'm glad someone believed yes. in the story. So it's yeah. like private funding, is it? Uh, or, or how does it work? Yeah, I guess it was a private funding. Okay. Uh, the the should I say company? No, uh, the non profit organization uh, started out as a uh, obviously non profit and they started just doing uh, grants and uh, ra- fundraisers. Mm. But uh, I think they've gotten so far as of now, they are a fully functioning company who, who, who funds films and who, who's looking out for all these kind of stories and they took it under their branding. So uh, thanks, Honor SG. If not, uh, the film wouldn't have been made. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. I, I noticed you do, like, you are quite acquainted with this platform called Stories. Oh, yes. Yeah. You want to talk about that? Right. So, uh, 
Actually, uh, just a backstory because I love to do films that, uh, no matter it's commercial films, art films, and all that, art house film, I love to do films with, uh, uh, I guess, with a meaning that could represent different side of society. Yeah. So if you if you if you had a chance to look at my profile, right, I did uh I did a film oh, really? about. Uh, Ama's Great Escape. Yeah. So it's about a group of Ama trying to escape out of old folks' home, oh, trying okay. to see a friend. Okay. Wow, that sounds friend. interesting. Yeah, so actually, the company behind Stories, they actually found this interesting. But back then, it was, uh, I was doing it as a LaSalle project. So it's inconvenient for them to, to find it. Lah. It sounds like a feature film to me. <laughs> it can be. No, no, no. Because I've watched one by yeah. Margaret Chan. I'm not sure you know or not. A group of the elderly with Margaret <laughs> Chan in yeah. a bus, they are yeah. visiting a friend. Ah, so they yeah, travel, yeah, travel. Yeah. So yeah. this is a bunch of old folks. Yeah. You, you, do, you, do you know? I think so. I think so. Ah, it's nice some some yeah. It was one of my inspiration for, for, for the, for the uh, mood board as well. Yes. So uh, what's so special is I actually liaise with uh, St. John's Home, uh, Home for Elderly and uh, Dementia, okay. and they are very happy to, or rather they are very excited because uh, they haven't seen such a fresh take on a story before, like a fresh spin of a short film before, yes. and they actually uh, lend us their, their facilities, their premises to to, to film there la. Did they lend you the Amas too? Uh, they tried to push, they tried to push. So uh, I was really glad I made some friends there. Then uh, they also did some interview. And the interview is very special. No crew and all that. It's just the elderly trying to use the... They, they taught the elderly how to use uh, cameras and all that. And uh, camera gears. Uh, so they own okay. self do their own video editing, very cute. Very cute. So the elderly are still yes. able, yeah? Yes, they are And these are elderly in the homes, yes. right? I picked out on LaSalle. Yes. Has LaSalle got anything to do with that? Uh, yes, yes. It was uh, a second film with LaSalle yeah. and collaboration with uh, St. John's, John's Home and also, uh, and also uh, schools from uh, FSB as well, uh, and Honor also. Yeah. yeah. So, um, back to my point is uh, the company behind Stories actually look at the casting post for for the for the Amas Great Escape. Then they wanted to contact me about you know funding this film and all that. Yeah. So uh, we actually met met up a few times and realized that uh, it it would be a missed opportunity if they did never uh, they never do a do a project with me la. Yeah. So they asked me what have I got in mind. So actually I proposed uh, a PTSD story regarding uh, Last Week by la. That's how Last Week by got made as well. Yeah. Last week by, yeah. yeah. I picked out on the word collaboration. I mean mm. I, I enjoy conversations uh, and I picked out conversations so that we can keep our stories yeah, going, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Stories. Yeah. Yes. Um Collaboration really is something that to kickstart a lot of uh, 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 initiatives, a lot of uh, new ideas. But so to the to the audience out there as well, I mean, we want to talk about this landscape of collaboration. Is no man is an island, and 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 are you asking for more drinks? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so oh, get me yeah. one too, right? I like mineral water. <laughs> <laughs> so, so so this whole idea of collaboration, I think collaboration is a start. Um, but beyond that, I think there is collective impact because after you collaborate, you bring the, the school together, you bring the different institutions together, you bring the nursing homes in, um, you brought in um, yourself as, as, as a creative individual, <coughs> but you told a very important story because then the outcome is the impact. Yeah. So, so I think what, you, what collaboration has done for you and for the landscape is that it has brought new uh, ideas, new knowledge into, into the landscape and and, and, and that's the part that I want to encourage our audience to say is that look, if you have a story you want to tell, come forward. Little Red Couch always invites you to, to come and share your story. Um, and, and because this is live, it's, it's, it's real, it's not lies. So, so, so 
we do it in the, <laughs> yeah we do it we yeah. do it in languages that that, that 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 only we know so um yeah so so this is really something that um we also want to encourage others to come forward and say uh <coughs> it's time for you to to to, to speak up yes. and tell your story and because we're interested to hear your stories you, you know i think there's actually a lot of little stories happening among us <coughs> it's just that we are not aware true true i mean you have history of stories yeah. he has history of stories me too but nobody wants to put it maybe because it's not commercial and it's not it, w- it won't make money i i don't know mm. do, do you think you as, as filmmakers right. like you know like you know those underbelly kind of right. cops yeah right. i i this think this is for you thank you i think like uh not say we can't earn money or make money <coughs> on this or not say it's profitable or not profitable uh i mean money is still a thing because we we pump in a lot of money to make all these films meaningful films it just it's costs all, as much yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it just yeah. costs as much uh, but uh, I would say Singapore is just starting and not like we have a huge audience but at least it's still there people are growing to like our film hopefully one day yeah, yeah. but we guarantee your film has gone beyond the, the shores of Singapore right. because we are enabled Asia yes. right so Going so really. it's gone to as far as what we've got Vietnam. Right, today seventeen countries that yeah, that, that yeah. tune I in saw, to watch. I saw the Australia one, the yeah, article, yeah. right? Yeah. So that one, I think we need to thank our PR company, Rice. Uh, so Rice Communications, you guys you. did an awesome job. Thank you, thank you. Um, we want to say thank you and record it because in film we immortalize whatever we're saying, even if I'm not around tomorrow. This thing is still this. Yeah. So 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 we are in seventeen different countries now. Yes. Right. Yeah. The press covered it in seventeen different countries. It's an amazing job for for Rice to have done that and and. And because of that, um, your film has also reached out to, th- to these various countries. Yes. Yeah, because we put them all in. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, so don't think of the market as just yeah, this yeah, little yeah. tiny island. Yeah, yeah. I, I think we're, this, is a, this is a global situation. Yeah. Uh, it is not just uh, mean, uh, the angle, our situation yeah, here. The angle is to you know, yeah. spread out to the whole entire yes. world. And, and world. because of your ability to increase awareness, there will be a drop in stigmatization. I guarantee you. Mm. Yeah, and as caregivers, I mean, I, I, we have the expert right to say that because we are caregivers, right? Caregivers feel that we are stigmatized. Uh, people look at us with a with a degree with, with a very varied degrees of like, do you guys even know what you're doing? Are you suitable for caregiving? I mean, our unique <coughs> experiences are so different. I mean, your experience with Grams, mm. um, not many people know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, especially how you felt. Yeah, people will say, "Hey, Grams forgot your name," and and that's. That's just yeah, that, right? Yeah. Yeah, what, what, what's the emotional part behind it? I think that's the important bit that you brought up today. Yeah. No, I, I think if the film encompasses a universal uh, affiliation mm-hmm. like dementia, mm-hmm. caregiving, mm-hmm. love, parent, siblings, I think all this film can make it because mm-hmm. it's recognizable. Mm-hmm. It's, 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 it's very public. It's humanized. It, uh, yeah, yeah. So regardless it's, whether yeah, it's, 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 it's just like very drama kind, <laughs> no transformer flying yeah. around. Yeah, I, I think it'll work. Yeah. <laughs> Slowly but surely. I think so. Because yeah. okay, um, just want to share with you. Last year, mm-hmm. we have uh, a dementia film from Hong Kong. Mm-hmm. Is it last year? Hang Wen Xing Ong. Hang Wen Xing Ong. Lucky Star. How is it? Unlucky or? Wei Ying Hong. My fam- my memory is failing me. <laughs> this is a conversation. You know, Wei Ying Hong. Okay, okay. Hang Wan Xi. <laughs> ah, yes, yes. Yeah. And we also have this, uh, what, the Big Apple from New York. Malaysia. Oh, what, Big Apple from uh, New York. Some, something. Yes, yes. Yeah. So my favorite one yeah. arm swordsman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so all these films are doing well yes, in the box yes. office. Of course, of course. But it's just a very simple family mm. drama. But the topic here is universal. It's universal. Yes. That, that's yes. what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So okay, now on to the tough stuff. Oh, ah, no, I, I was thinking tough? going to the very lighter note. Oh. Okay, so like, quick and fast, ah. yeah. cannot think twice. Oh, okay. ah. wow, wow. So is this one or that one? Ah. So I'm going to ask you, <laughs> uh, 
Da 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 or da da da. So oh, you yeah, gotta yeah, just yeah. pick one. So we're playing a yes. game now, right? Are we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, come. <laughs> Something fun. Christopher Nolan or Ridley Scott? Nolan. Nolan. Wong Kar Wai or Zhang Yi Mo? Zhang Yi Mo. I'm just staring at Brendan. Okay, this screen. one, I don't know if you can answer or not. Eric Koo or Jack Neo? Better Quick, to answer. Quick, Eric Koo. Oh. Sorry, Jack Neo. <laughs> Better don't answer, no? Okay, um, last question. Uh, uh, um, uh, last question in, in this segment. Uh, uh, what's your favourite local production? Mm. Okay, before you say, uh. what's your favourite local production? Eating air. Me too! I knew you would say it. Hey, seriously! Eating air. I love eating air. Somehow, it's, it's, it's quite cold. Right. So, Kevin Tong, thank what's you for that. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Okay. Mine is Singapore Dreaming. If you are okay. Uh, back there. <laughs> what the back there? <laughs> right. The back there. Yeah. What the yeah. back there? Yeah, but uh, I mean, in all seriousness, this Yen Yen, uh, right? Yeah. Yen Yen, 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 yen right? Yen, uh, yen, 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 yes. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, quite non award film, lah. Uh. Singapore Dreaming is... Got what? Got what? Yeah. Okay. Didn't do research well, come on show. Got fair? In the Asian... Asian Skip my next question. Okay. Uh. But I know you're actually yeah. making a quite a cult film also right now. Oh. You want to share? What is it called? Uh, it's a book I can read I? when I was in... Can I? Oh, can, can you talk about it? Yeah, right. Okay. Can you talk about it? Or is it embargo? Sorry, sorry. Like, I, I don't, don't know. Sorry. I, I, I can just I spill mean, a bit. Yeah, just yeah. a little bit. Let's, let's wet the appetite it's of the audience. When I read it when I was in A level. Ah. Yeah. Right. I think a lot of people have read so, it. So, yeah, we are doing a remake of uh, this uh, this book uh, into a series called Teenage Textbook. It's awesome. It's popular in the 80s, 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 80s. Uh, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I can't wait to watch it. Yeah. Next year. When, when is it coming out? We'll tell them. We'll come back on a little red couch oh again right, to talk yeah. about <laughs> the Teenage Textbook. Yes, the Teenage right? Textbook. The series. Teenage. Actually, we have somebody from Teenage Textbook here, right? Sure. You want to jump in? Wow. Oh, this is, this is unplanned for, <laughs> so... Cannot. Yeah, no, no. Uh, <laughs> maybe say hi from afar, no, you know? No, 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 you can just... <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so, so this is unplanned for. <laughs> well, in the way couch, we expect the unexpected. Yeah, now wow. it's, it's, it's only, it's, we, we are within like safe distancing. Yeah. You know, we just want to make sure we are here to that to, and comply with all that. Um, yes, I mean, when is this going to be out? Uh, about next year, April. Okay, yeah, and, and how long is this series? I mean, I'm excited. It's a, it's a full 13 episodes. Ah, 13 episodes. Weekly? Monday? Weekly. Or daily? Weekly. Weekly, yeah. One Weekly. hour. Introduce yourself, I mean. Oh, I'm... Yeah, sorry, <laughs> I, you are so rude. <laughs> <laughs> you are very, very rude. Hi, I'm Shuki Wan, and I'm playing a character called Haslinda on Teenage Textbook, the series. Ooh, you speak? Um, I, I speak in English. Okay. And a little bit of Malay. Say hi to our Malay audiences. We have a couple of them. Oh, hi korang. Nama saya Shukri Nawan. Dan saya akan berlakon dalam uh, cerita Teenage Textbook The Series sebagai Aslinda. Ta-da! Yeah. We've got a lot of different languages. <laughs> nice. And... What's <laughs> that? <Back to you. laughs> oh my god! You just... <laughs> That's a little teaser for you. Okay, so you, you yeah, guys didn't expect this, right? And if you're yes. watching through the Little Red Couch and you think it was boring, you would have missed out such an exciting yes, component yes. of Little Red Couch. Exciting. I mean, back back to... Let's go on to the real questions. I mean... Real questions. Yeah, we're half an hour into it. We haven't got there yet. Oh, is it? Okay. You know, I brought the tissue paper out. Okay, I want to ask you something yeah. like very... I don't know, is it called radical? Before you that, Joseph, thank you for watching. Uh, Billy, uh, Drew, <coughs> Esther, uh, Kunle, thank you for coming in and watching uh, uh, Blue Ring <coughs> Couch this, this Thursday with us. I I'm going to take a breather while he asks okay, okay, okay. all the tough stuff. So you remember him for all the tough stuff. All right, right? Man. Which is worse? Okay? Mm -hmm. Aloysius, which is worse? To lose your memories when you are 80 
or have tons of regrets when you're 80? Which is worse? Which is worse? For you? Uh, to me, to lose memories. To lose memories. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you rather have tons of regrets when you're 80? But if you don't have the memories, then you would have tons of regrets anyway because you don't know okay. what you have been doing. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. What made you say? Yeah, what made you say that? Yeah. Like, because at least memories, you know that, hey, I've done it. You know, uh, I've been through that. It, it can make me feel like, you know, I've uh, been there, done that. And I would cherish all these memories. Yeah, because memories are important. Memories are, are our recollection of digital sure. space and time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when we grow old, we want to cherish our <laughs> memories like gold! Yeah. Hmm. So you'd yeah. rather have tons of regrets la, because at least you can remember... Yeah, at least I'm whatever, there to remember yeah. what I've done. You? Don't put me on the spot, la. it's not about me. You right? want to lose your memories when you're 80 or you're rather you have tons It's of not a yes or no question. I, I like I like 50 first dates if you haven't watched it, right? I have watched yeah, so very more. So <laughs> so I enjoy I enjoy living my life every day fresh and new. If I have to lose my memories, I, I, I would I would love for that to happen. Um, I wouldn't want to every lose day. my memories and every day live with regret trying to recall what I've lost, but every day to recreate new things that I would treasure for that day. And and I would make every day my last day. So 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 if you ask me that question again, if I'm 88, would I want to lose my memories or would I want to live a life with regret? Uh, I would say I would lose my memories and, and live every, every day new day anew. anew. Yeah. yeah, so that, that that's something that uh, I feel I, I would want to do that. Mm, yeah. uh, then yeah. I can make new memories every day, but so what if I forget, you know? We press the delete button so often every day. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you're, you're right, it's, it's like, you know, I, I always, you know, for people with dementia, like when I was talking to mom, we were always trying to, can you remember this? You forgot last time this, mm. this, this. But why are we forcing them to remember, struggle to remember? Not just remembering, just struggle to remember. Why don't instead we create new one that very moment so that it's very easy for them to remember mm -hmm, mm -hmm. rather than hey you know Last that time, day yeah, this yeah. one la 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 oh. so yeah I, I, yeah to add on to that right imagine ourselves being put in that situation to be asked to recall things that you can't remember it's, i think that pressure is a bitch right yeah it's like it's like going to your Mac, it's right like, and then after you press delete and you empty trash you go and ask the Mac, right where's my shit you know you ask you ask <laughs> What's the voice? You ask Siri, can you find my stuff? And Siri's like, sorry man, you don't have any. So you know, I think, I, think, yeah. I think we shouldn't do that. Uh, I, I don't do that with that. So I, if he forgets, he forgets. Yeah, yeah, so, so let's talk about today because he's still there so in present why remember, moment. Yeah, those, yeah. Uh, yeah. But fortunately, yeah. <laughs> fortunately, he remembers things 40 <clears throat> years ago. La. So that's that's different. So he, re he recollects things that are much, much further away in life. Right, right. Yeah, so... so to him, he dementia does that for yeah. him. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, what do you think? I think it's an interesting perspective. Like what? What you guys have? Because I literally walked through five years of this. Right. How can you don't remember? Wow! Mm. Throw tantrum. Throw glass. Throw table. Throw. But we need to pause and think. Why don't we create new ones True. for for mummy for daddy? Mm. Yeah, rather than wow, dig, 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 shuffle, dig. So, so to Danny's point, I think that the inconvenient truth that we're really yeah. talking about is, it's actually our realization and our acceptance yeah. that our loved ones are not the same anymore. Okay. Um, okay, wait. Yeah, we're getting. Wait, sorry, sorry. I, I just want to jump in. Now. Sometimes, I realize like, mm -hmm. for me doing all this like, why can't you remember? Right. I, am Am I trying to satisfy my own? Uh, uh, what's that word? Uh, 
trying to make myself happy yeah, yeah, yeah. so that you because you remember oh then I'm happy actually interesting so that's what I'm it's, going to it's damn selfish yeah. you know that's what I'm going to next add on film actually. no <laughs> like, it's so that's, selfish yeah that's what I agree on because yeah. like actually why are we trying to force people to remember stuff why yeah forget forget no? yeah that's why is it because we want to fulfill our you know yes. own desire mm. of you yes. know that that connection yes. or what? Yes. It is. I'm yeah. telling you, it is yeah. because this is how I feel, and I t- I, I reprimand myself because mm-hmm. I'm selfish. Right. So to caregivers, I mean, I sorry, jump in. Stop doing that, please. Okay, he said it. He said it in one word. Stop doing it, right? So I have nothing better to add. <laughs> 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 yeah. But hey, don't yeah. be so hard on yourself. It's human. I, you, you I remember it. what I wanted to say before you interrupted yes. me. Okay, go. So to the caregivers, please. I think a lot of times we, we think that this is the best way to actually help excite and help our loved ones remember things, but it is not. For sure it is it not. Is I, tried, not. I tried doing this for 10 years. He has done it for 50, 5 years. Together we have collective time of trying to do this, right? For 15 years, we have wasted one third of our lives trying to do this shit. And it doesn't work. I mean, it may be good to create new memories. If we have forgotten it, so be it. We just have to come to realization that we also sometimes forget stuff. Yeah. I mean, I forgot where I put my keys. Yeah, let alone people with dementia. Yeah. When we were younger, we forgot all the time to bring the textbook to school. <coughs> right? So we needed the teenage textbook. <laughs> so I'm ah. just kidding. <coughs> yeah, but important point is, right? Look, really, don't, don't force them to remember something that they can't remember. Yeah. yeah. If you want, create new memories with them so that it can stay with you. And then of course, picture paints a thousand words, right? Yeah, last time we say, you know, camera cannot take memories and all that kind of stuff. Now you got digital, you have a phone, you have to take memories, create new memories with your loved ones because when they are gone, these are the only things that you hold on to, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next. Next. Okay, last two questions actually. Oh, okay. And it should be about time to wrap up. Lah. All right. Do you want to ask? No, you asked. Uh, okay. Sounds like a um, hard question. Yeah. If you have dementia, what would you want to tell the world? Think about it when we have some drink. <laughs> Thank you. This is a I pause is good because that's where his neurons are firing. Yeah, on noir. <laughs> and he's thinking really hard. So okay, taking too long, huh? <laughs> yeah. Mr. Director. You know. <coughs> yeah. If you have dementia, mm-hmm. what do you want to tell the world? As a filmmaker. As a filmmaker. Yeah. Because filmmaker added stress, right? Added stress. Mm, of wow. course. <laughs> uh I would say. Oh look at me, tell the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Tell the world, I'm not the world, the world is there. If I have dementia and... The I'm world is there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a filmmaker. Uh, I would say cherish what you have, just do what you want to do. Don't because you don't remember stuff, dwell on it. Don't because uh, people are adding stress that you forget stuff, you're forgetful and all that. Just block out all these negative noises and do what you want to do now because life ain't going anywhere wow mm. so yeah do what you want to do like, okay. any last last things that you want to do any accomplished <laughs> wishes you know actu- actually I think I think it shouldn't be when you have dementia I think for every one of us every day we should be yeah, doing we should, what you're yeah, yeah, we should yeah, be doing yeah. what you're what you have just said. <coughs> right. Yeah, there there to dream. Uh, there to dream. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Last question. Hmm, this makes me reflect. I'll I'll <laughs> share my thoughts. <laughs> no, yeah. go on. Go no, on. Okay, I'm gonna right. ask you. If you have dementia, what are you gonna tell the world? I will tell the world I've lived the <coughs> life that I enjoy because uh, I get to do the things that um, I got to do. I'm where I am because of, of who I am. Uh, and what I do, um, and and I will leave with no regrets, uh, because if I have, if I leave, and I forget everything, I want to know that I made a difference to at least one person. Uh, and by doing this, I think we are reaching out to a lot of different lives. Yes. 
Um, and if we don't do this, then I'll leave with a lot of regret. Uh, because caregivers who are new to this journey of caring, um, we don't know better. Uh, your unique experience is what we want to know. We are still learning about our loved ones and how to better give, better care for them. Um, and if I end up being the one being cared for, uh, at least I know that I've already shared my thoughts of how I want to be cared for. So, so whoever that is caring for me in the future, uh, you will know my opinions of not to overcare for me and still be able to allow me to, to, to do the things I want to do, uh, like what he said. Uh, because my time is limited. All of us, our time are limited. It's just that if I need care from others, I hope you respect me with some dignity uh, and give me uh, a bit of patience to, to, to at least hear me, to even allow me to complete my sentence before cutting in and say that, oh, this is better for you. Yeah, mm. I think that's, that's, mm. that's uh, if I have dementia, I would like to have at least that least bit of dignity and pride uh, to be able to do how little things I can do. If I can pour a cup of water, please let me do it. Yeah. So Dina, you heard that? <laughs> yeah, that's it's, I, I, I don't think it's easy. Uh, I don't think it's easy for, for anyone to take it, but uh, um, this is the least I hope. Um, should I have uh, dementia? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah, okay. Last question for Aloysius before we wrapped up this evening of Little Red Couch How are you going to use your prize money? I know it's not like freaking one million dollars. <laughs> You know, yeah. Well, so I'm going to use it. Share the with us. first thing top of my mind is family, my grandma. Makan. Yes. Makan. Yes, yes, yes. My grandma. What's especially. your favorite food? Uh, actually, her favorite food is those Malay kuis and all that. Malay kuis. So, yeah. So I like to buy. One thousand Malay. One thousand no, Malay <laughs> kuis. She eat until she pingsan. You know. Yeah, yeah, then uh, I'll probably spend on her medical, part of her medical fee. Yeah, oh. yeah. Then, uh, I mean, then the rest, my family and for myself as well. Uh, just a bit of pet in the bag. 1,000 and not 10,000. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> can do so much. Can, eh? uh, can <laughs> uh, if you divide it in Bali. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think food brings people together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. I think it's a very wise choice of how you use your price money. Yeah. Yeah, and I hope it brings a smile to Grams, yeah. because I think that that's that's mm -hmm. uh, something that I hope to see. And so, if you do that, please take a picture of her, yes. post, yeah, it. post it, yeah, post yeah. It. yeah. yeah. share it on the share, 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 share it. on those who have watched us. Yeah. Um, do we have any questions that? Uh, we, oh, okay. Joseph says there were some buzzing sounds sounds around. Um, I saw a buzzing sound. A, I saw a, a housefly. Oh. Yeah, but I think the buzzing sound is gone, so the housewife is gone as well. Yeah, huge um, one. I, I think it's because we are live and, and, and we're, we're dealing with... Uh, so no questions from... There's no questions. Uh, um, yeah. So they well, were happy quiet. with... They were very happy. So there were tons of people watching, so, <coughs> so, so we just want to thank those who are watching uh, with us. Once again, uh, it's Aloysius uh, uh, who, has, who has won the stories together. VC and Able Asia uh, film competition with his show, Catch Up On. Um, we have him in uh, Tiffin Gallery. We want to thank Tiffin Gallery as well. Uh, and of course, all those who are the, the, the producers who have put this show uh, okay. together for us, um, as well as the extended, uh, as, our, as, as well as uh, our, our guest visitor from, from the Teenage Textbook series coming up next year. Watch that, okay? Because uh, I'm sure we're going to bring her back. Uh, into the studio and maybe not Aloysius but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah but thank you for watching and and, you. and and thank you for, for sharing time with us at the Little Red Couch stay tuned we hope to bring Little Red Couch to you once a month uh, on, on a Thursday uh, so hope you enjoy the shit Thursday uh, and see you soon bye guys bye. thank you bye